August 10th and 11th, Friday and Saturday, the sun and the moon are in Leo. So first of all, it's a double Leo. And everyone in astrology always gets off on, oh my God, they're so dramatic and they wear all this jewelry and they're so over the top. But right now with the sun and moon in Leo, there's Jupiter in Scorpio, 90 degrees to it. So there's literally fire with water and in astrology in life in general you put water on fire and it goes out not all leos are show-offs not all leos are comfortable being out in the public's eye so they want to be and the best way for a leo to show up is to have a role like in theater or as an actor because mars is going retrograde we're having a backwards mars going into capricorn and because there's this incredible square going on this is a subdued leo energy and i would ask you which part of you is slightly shy? Which part of you holds back? Because during this new moon, it's the best time. There's a partial solar eclipse. You might want to notice this is an auspicious time to say to the part of yourself that's double Leo, what am I shy about? What am I afraid about? Why can't I stand in front of a room? Why am I at a party and shyfully standing in the back? This would be an exercise. Even though the square is going on, it's even more reason when there's a square to practice the uncomfortable act of letting yourself show up without being embarrassed. Now that's a challenge for Leo. You'd be surprised. They're good when the role is given to them and they have a structure and an actress and they're inside of a script. But when you take them off the stage, and I've seen this with a lot of famous clients I've had, when you take them off the stage into the party, they're like, can we go now? So it's the discomfort of being seen and being vulnerable, which is what double Leos are at their best, versus pretending that you look so good and you're trying so hard and you're just happy. So with the Scorpio squaring, with Mercury going retrograde, with Mars going retrograde, and this partial eclipse, this would be a great time for you to ask yourselves this question. How do I deal with my outgoing self? How courageous am I to stand up and stand out? What am I afraid of? They say the two greatest fears are dog bites and standing in front of people and speaking. Those are the two greatest fears in human nature. Isn't that interesting? I would add the fear of death to the third one. But in order to get past this during this wonderful dark sky, during a time when we go in, you can ask yourself, I wonder where in my life I could turn my volume up a little bit because astrology has just told Deborah Silverman to tell us that it's a double Leo with a partial eclipse, which means you can change something this weekend.